ये कहना चाहूँगी कि ऑडियंस तक ये भी पहुँचना चाहिए कि जैसे अभी बहुत सारे शौचालय बने हैं और गवर्नमेंट कोशिश कर रही है कि ये सारी चीज़ें एट शॉर्ट डिस्टेंसेस हो ताकि औरतों को ये तकलीफ नहीं हो लेकिन अभी भी बहुत काम बाकी है और बहुत बार ऐसे होता है जहाँ पर जैसे हम खुद सेलिब्रिटी के हिसाब से हमारे साथ विमेन पुलिस ऑफिसर्स होती हैं जो सवेरे से निकल जाती है और उनके पास कहीं जाने की जगह नहीं होती एंड दे कीप ऑन कंट्रोलिंग देयर ब्लैडर फ्लो और उसके कारण बहुत सारी दिक्कतें हो सकती हैं औरतों को इन द लॉन्ग रन कि ये काम के हिसाब से तो हम कंट्रोल कर पाते हैं या कह देते हैं कि बस यही करना है वी हैव टू मैनेज टू डू दिस लेकिन इसका हेल्थ पे बहुत सीवियर परिणाम हो सकता है गायत्री जी अगर आप बता सके तो नमस्कार बेसिकली आई हैव सीन कि जिन लोगों को बहुत uh, कम सुविधा मिलती है मे बी बिकॉज ऑफ देयर प्रोफेशन इवन मैनी आर टाइम्स हेल्थ रिलेटेड प्रोफेशंस भी जो रहते हैं मल्टीपर्पज़ हेल्थ वर्कर है जो फील्ड में रहते हैं उनके पास कुछ भी ऐसी फैसिलिटी रहती नहीं टाइम पे तो दे कैन नॉट रियली एम टी द ब्लैडर ऑन टाइम नंबर वन बट मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट दैन दिस इज वेन एवर इट्स लाइक थ्री डेज इन योर month sometimes more than 3 days they have to manage their menstruation and there i have seen because of a uh, long uh, periods not being able to change and not able to maintain the hygiene they have got very bad experiences of uh, infection which could be a vaginal infection ascending to the uterus and the other parts as well as the urinary infection so many people in fact from the industries have come to me they have recurrent urine uh, lower urinary tract infection and they keep on uh, sometimes take take uh, you know antibiotics randomly and lot of self medication i have seen because they don't have access and time to go to the doctor immediately so this is a very important issue and more awareness about this and particularly mm. at the level of admin that more and more facilities there should be available to have a particular hygiene for women so as to prevent the uh recurrent problems and you may not be knowing but because of the professional challenges many of the corporate women young women they just don't want to plan the pregnancy because they feel that there are so many things if i am stuck with a baby in the pregnancy then you know i may not have any future but you are the exception you are actually you know you are the example to be set and i have personally seen when i was married that time also people used to say that whether you know having a pregnancy early may be a big obstacle in my career but I, both of us believe that you know it has to be on time and i be believe me that it doesn't really have any problem so i would really like to give a message that whenever you feel the woman who has to be complete the career and your prospect should not be the problem with you you must plan it on time आई थिंक ये बहुत अहम हिस्सा है टू रीच आउट टू एवरी वन द पॉपुलस इन जनरल मैन वीमेन और इवन आउट टू द सोसाइटी कि बहुत सारी औरतें प्रेगनेंसी को या माँ बनने की जो इच्छाएँ होती हैं उनको पोस्टपोन कर देती है बस ये समझ कर कि हमें शायद हमारे करियर आगे बढ़ने के लिए दिक्कतें आ जाएगी फैमिली सपोर्ट नहीं मिल पाएगा हेल्थ के इश्यूज हो जाएंगे ये सोसाइटी इन जनरल विमेन एंड मेन अगर एक दूसरे का ये सपोर्ट सिस्टम बने तो आई थिंक वी कैन मूव फॉरवर्ड बेटर एज अ सोसाइटी जहाँ पर औरतों को ये चीज़ दिक्कत नहीं महसूस हो जो हम माँ का जो आनंद है माँ बनने का जो आनंद है वो ले सके हमारा काम भी कंप्लीट uh, कर सके और हम आगे बढ़ सके अनदर वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट टुडे सिंस इट्स वुमेंस डे एंड वी हैव गॉट अ कॉस्मेटोलॉजिस्ट हियर बहुत सारे लोग सोचते हैं कि वुमेंस डे इज ओनली अबाउट ब्यूटी ट्रीटमेंट्स इट्स ओनली अबाउट कॉस्मेटिक सर्जरी इट्स ओनली अबाउट हाउ अ वुमेन कैन बी ब्यूटिफुल लेकिन मेरे ख्याल से कॉस्मेटिक सर्जरी बहुत सारे आदमी भी करते हैं So, what do you have to say about that? Yeah. At the outset, I'd like to thank uh, Mangla Ma'am for concept.
uh, conceptualizing this whole event and a, thank, a big thank you to all of you here and uh, thank you to Bhavna ji for coming here at a, such a short notice. I'd like to add a little bit to the, what she said. Like, uh, fortunately for me, I have had very supportive men in my life, in my brother, my father, uh, my husband, and every male doctors in Anavati Hospital. I was a student here. They have been so supportive. So I've never had any problem in my career. But you know, I got so caught up in my career, I forgot to take care of having a baby on time. So then I had difficulty in, in conceiving. So I got married at the age of 26, but I had a child at the age of 36. So this is something, this is the advice which she gave, which I am now giving to my students and people who are getting married, have the child at the right time so that you enjoy. Not that I'm not enjoying my child now, but I had difficulty, yes. So this is some of the problems which we women face when we are a career woman. So cosmetology is uh, obviously something which we do to beautify our outer self. But I always advocate that uh, beauty lies within. So to become beautiful or to do something externally, you have to be a beautiful person inside. And for that, mental, emotional, and physical health is very, very important. These three things you have to take care of. Mental and emotional when you're taken care of, especially for a woman. So much we go through in our lives. Like you come to me, you say that, you know, like, okay, fine, you do Botox, you do fillers, you do the facelift and all that. But if you're not happy within, it's not going to have the same result. So I think uh, general public has, uh, uh, right now, created this whole thing of body shaming, of uh, certain uh, beauty standards that have to be maintained, and it's a whole lot of pressure. Just like we social media, par dekhte hai, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, there are all apps where people look beautiful or look different. Absolutely. सभी खूबसूरत लगते हैं लेकिन सभी एक जैसे ही लगते हैं। I think the beauty of a woman lies in being unique। हर एक औरत बहुत खूबसूरत है अपने आप में ही। और अगर cosmetic surgery, cosmetic surgery should not be done to overcome depression or being mentally uh, feeling inferior about oneself. That is a very, very important thing. And I'm glad Kalpana ji also said that you have to be strong from inside, you have to be strong from inside. It is very important that cosmetic surgery, when you do cosmetic surgery, yes, today uh, medical science has improved. One can enhance one's beauty, one can do a lot of things. Sometimes cosmetic surgery is also required jab aapko uh, generally koi uh, skin ki takleef hoti hai. Uh, with excessive sweating, I think Botox ka istamal kiya ja sakta hai. And that's how people are using. But it should not be used to cover up an inferiority complex or a mental disturbance. Ye bohut zaruri hai ki hum as doctors also, when you give your patients to your patients, I am sure you mention this to them. What do you have to say about this? Yeah, because people come uh, and they ask that I want to look 20 years younger. Yes. So, <laughs> I tell them, like, looking uh, 5 to 10 years younger is fine, but you should be comfortable in your age and in your skin. You know, you have to, and you know, another thing fad we have in India is looking beautiful is being fair. I have spent 25 years trying to educate people that it's, I mean, beauty is not being, just being fair. You have to have a nice skin and be happy with your skin. Make the most of your skin. What you have, make the most of it. And uh, don't overdo. Like, you know, when you see people in the media especially, they are overdone. So both ways, we are responsible as well as the person. They'll come and say, okay, fine, I want six syringes of fillers on my face. But as a doctor, it's my responsibility to tell them that you look like a sausage. But you know, this, <laughs> but there's a matter of uh, money involved. I'll give you a small example. There was this girl who came to me, a TV actress. She told me, do my lips. So I did one filler. She said, no, I want two more. I said, no, I'll not do it. She went, got it done somewhere. Next day, she paid my consultation to come and show me that she's done this. But you know, my receptionist told me, doctor, you take it quickly because I think there's a reaction. Her mouth is so 
So this is how the beauty concept of beauty is these days. And I think as educated women, we should teach people that it is our responsibility to teach that to underdo is the right thing to beauty, not to overdo. Very well said. Aaj, aaj jab uh, itne saare panelists apni apni kahaniya bata rahe hain, in kahaniyon mein se ye seek lena bahut zaruri hai ki jaise inhone apne life mein kuch changes, kuch badlav lane ki koshish ki, jaise unhone kuch seekha ki kya unhone apne life mein problems face ki aur kya wo apne जो आजू बाजू के लोग हैं, जो I will take this break in between. We welcome over here तेजस्वी सत्पुत्र। ये हमारी सिंगम है। In Maharashtra, she has managed to achieve what most men couldn't, and uh, please go ahead. Sure, sure. Thanks a lot, uh, Ms. Tejasri Satpude. She's an IPS officer and uh, DCP of headquarters. 